Hello YouTube, this is Jaxa and today I am going to showcase how to install Ubuntu in your M1 Mac. For this we need to download our Ubuntu ISO image, go to the server, I will list it in the, in the description and simply click on the download, it will begin the download. I, since I have already downloaded the file, I will not download it again, there is the file on my desktop. Let me quickly open UTM and create a new virtual machine, let me name it Ubuntu. You, you and Ubuntu and change the style to operating system and select our icon as we usually do and moving to the system let's let's select our architecture to arm64 and select the ram according to your requirement i'll go with 3 gb and let's create a little let us create a new drive with 10 gb virtual interface to virtual and another removable drive let's create and then save this setting as you can see now let us load our iso image in the cd dvd option i will browse my iso image here over here which is on the desktop and let let me run the machine it will take time to uh, it, it will take, take it will take time to load uh, simply wait and uh, it will load As you can see on my screen, it is, it is saying connecting. Now hit enter on your keyboard. Go the, we go the default option. Everything done, done. Use your arrow key to draw and drag down the option and OK. And select your, give your name, your server name. As you like, I'll go with my username Vixa and server name Vixa. I also pick my username too. Next, I will choose my password and confirm my password. And click on OK. Done. 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 Now let us wait for the installation. It may take up to half an hour. It won't take more than half an hour. Though. Uh -huh. okay. as, as you can see, our system is installed. Now let's reboot our system. Just reboot. Uh, this is a le let me log in with check and password now we have to install GUI interface of Ubuntu for this for this we need to install tax cell as you can see I have a list of command I will list them in the description you can simply copy them to install tax cell to install the to install tax cell, we, we need to enter this command sudo apt install tax cell. Let me type sudo task cell. Uh, let me enter my password. Mm. Okay, let's update our system first sudo apt get update to update the to update the re repository now let's run our command something is missing i guess let me check the command again sudo apt Install task cell. Oh. There's S is missing. Okay, let's enter. Yes, I want to continue. And we have a we have task cell installed in our Ubuntu system. Now let's run the second command. 
sudo tag same install ubuntu desktop it is this is done to install the gui interface of in ubuntu and hit enter it will take time it will take time to execute execute simply uh, wait it wait for a while if you if you get stuck in the in simply try simply press control c and you will you will be redirected to this interface now here the strong a strong internet connection is required mm, this, this will found this will download a file uh, it will take mm, uh, nearly half an hour to download the gui interface as you can see i there are, it, it is saying that apt get filled now we re, let us rerun re the command as we have previously run sudo attack select install to desktop it will to enter a password and hit enter i will be extracting template from package it will take up to five minutes to extract Now let me run run down the command in order to ensure that uh, nothing is remaining. Like the it is in the hundred percent is complete. Now let us reboot our system. Sudo reboot. Now our system will reboot. We, and now we have our GUI Ubuntu interface. Let me enter the password. As you can see, we have virtualized Ubuntu on our M1 Mac. Uh, M1 Mac. There are certain configuration we need to arrange in order to get a better experience, like the copying, copying clipboard, copying sharing directory option. That all. As you can see, uh, I, I open Firefox. Okay, let me open first terminal. You can see terminal is open. You can also check the internet is working. The internet is working fine. Uh, let me reboot the system in order to ensure that it don't get corrupt or let me restart the reboot the machine as you can see we are we are having our ubuntu gui interface even the password and you can inject the CD DVD and click on OK. Now that is of no use. Simply eject it. You can also delete the ISO image if you want now. There are certain there are certain configuration we need to configure in order to ensure our better experience. For that, we need to install a spice a spice guest tool. Uh, now simply copy the command to install spice present this tool help us to help us in clipboard sharing and also in the the directory sharing sharing i will show you guys how to share a directory between your host computer and the virtualized desktop Hit hint enter. Enter password. Hit enter. It will install a spice case too. Yes, now 
as we can see the spice guest would is installed properly uh, so maybe we'll later now let us let me turn off this machine power off and this setting in ubuntu setting go in the setting in the in the, in the, in the display of in, in the sharing option and select enable directory sharing and as you can see it it, it is written that as spice spice case to do is it recommended in order to for the directory sharing and also you can go on the display and select the fit to screen and set in a mode now let us run here in the share directory you can choose any directory any directory which you you want to share with your virtual environment i will simply select our my new folder and run the machine Enter a password and now as you can see the direct the shared directory appear on the uh, on this on this local host uh, and as you can see the clipboard setting is also working now if I paste yes the clipboard setting is working and the, the directory which we have shared simply appear here you can also use the widget option to download any of the any of the file and for better resolution we need to configure the display setting uh, for this go into the setting setting display setting and change the resolution not the refresh rate but change the resolution to foot 1500 into 900 and you will get a better resolution better resolution click on apply so this all was the step to configure the utm on m1 mac using utm please drop a like and subscribe to my channel for for related content if you guys uh, have any issue please comment down below i'll I will help as much as I can. Thank you for watching.